Today I wanted to take a look at Mini SQL Query, which is a lightweight win form for testing SQL connectivity. Uh, here we have a list of the different features that it supports. So this is a WinForm EXE that will let us test connections to SQL Server, SQL Compact, Access, SQL Lite, even Oracle and OLE. So here we've got a list of all the different features that they have, loading and saving, viewing table data, programming model, a lot of, lot of great features. The reason that I like it is you can download and run this with zero install. It's a zip file that you extract, double click the EXE to run, that makes it a portable app, very easy to take to different servers for troubleshooting and diagnostics. So here we've extracted the zip file to mini SQL query. We open that up and we find mini SQL query.exe. Double click to run, simple enough. And here we have a UI that lets us maintain connection strings and run queries. Clicking the edit connection strings button will open up a pop-up window. And here I've added one for SharePoint. If we go into edit, it's part of the data.sql client, so the regular Microsoft SQL client. And here we have a data source of SP, which is our server. We can give it an initial catalog of master. We don't necessarily have to. We could change that to uh, potentially something different. And we also need to look at our authentication. I did toggle integrated security to true. So all the settings you see in bold are part of the connection file. User instance not supported so okay we toggle that connected to SharePoint successfully so we hit OK do another edit come down check out the database drop down here's even a list of databases so yes we can successfully test our connection and that that verifies that we are establishing you know the ability to run SQL queries but here you could come in you could pick out a different database maybe a SharePoint content and click OK click OK again Go ahead and choose that connection off the top. The tree on the left is going to redraw. Now we see a whole list of tables. Fantastic. So now we know we have connectivity. But at the same time, we can go ahead and do view table data, you know, maybe clicking on all docs. And here we see a list of GUID numbers. We see directory names. We see you know, file names off to the right. There's just a lot of rich detail that lets us know we have definitely successfully connected to our SharePoint tables. We can see data on the back end. Uh, you can even run queries here manually by typing things in. So like at at version tells us that we've got SQL 2014 with SP2 on this particular machine. So a lot of great diagnostic information, a lot of great debugging. That If you're working on a, a web front end or, or any SharePoint farm member, and you need a way to test connectivity to the back end, simply extracting the zip and double clicking the GUI will get you in a place where you can run queries, browse data, verify connectivity, and you don't have to go through the heavier install of the full SQL Management Studio. Uh, this could also be helpful with custom development because it does support Oracle and OLE. So here, as far as you know, adding new connections, this dropdown does have an Oracle client from .NET, and that's included as part of the, the zip file content here. So a great utility, something to definitely keep in mind. Thank you for watching.